Good morning, High Point. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be a back-to-school dance this Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. It's a fall ball with dancing contests and prizes. Admission is $5. Attention juniors and seniors, you're invited to Peer Counseling's first meeting of the year for an evening of fun, games, learning, and get to know a little bit about yourself and others. Dig a little deeper and get to know your old friends, meet new friends, and let your hair down, while, all while honing your leadership skills. Get involved and be a part of this great High Point community. The meeting is Wednesday, September 21st at 5.30 to 7.30 in the cafeteria. See you there. There will be a DECA meeting today, September 20th, at 5.30 p.m. in room 103. Any students with an interest in advertising, fashion marketing, sports marketing, and the hospitality industry or other areas of marketing should stop by to find out more about the club. Fundraising packets will be distributed. Attention students, first meeting for FBLA will be today, September 20th, at 6 p.m. in the CAF Annex. Pizza will be served. Please join us and learn about some upcoming events, including the Fall Conference in Philadelphia. This is a reminder that the planner signature page is due. Please hand the planner signature page into the main office. The yearbook meeting scheduled for today is canceled. The next meeting will be on Thursday. If anyone is interested in the Science Olympiad, please do not be shy. Contact Megan Arnold or Mr. Moranzik for more details. Information about a meeting date will be announced soon. Last year's Olympians, also contact Megan Arnold if you want to continue. The Key Club will be meeting today, September 20th, in the Cafeteria Annex. We'll be planning fundraisers to run throughout the year. Much of the money we raise will be used to help eliminate maternal and neonatal tetanus, a disease which kills 160 babies each day worldwide. Come join the Key Club and be a part of something big. Key Club, today, September 20th, CAF Annex. Be there. If you need community service hours, please listen to the morning announcements, check the bulletin board outside room 213, or the kiosk outside the media center for upcoming community service learning opportunities. In sports, attention all boys and girls basketball players, Dreamfield Sports Complex in Sparta will be hosting a three-on-three -three boys and girls basketball tournament on October 2nd. The tournament is sponsored by Pacers National Bullying Prevention Center. For more information, see Coach Dexter in room 429 or Amber Riley. The freshman field hockey team had a dominating win over Montville yesterday, 9-0. to zero. It was a total team effort with a tough team defense, with a tough team defense recording a shutout and an overwhelming team offense pumping in nine goals. Great job, Lady Cats. The varsity field hockey team defeated Montville 2-0. Nikki Hall scored the first goal and Brittany Papa added the second off an assist from B. Cannavale. Kelsey Stoll recorded her fourth shutout of the season. Congratulations to the JV field hockey team on their 4-0 victory over Montville. Brittany DeLima scored two goals off assists from Annalise Malgieri and Carly Satter, while Colette LeDuc and Satter each contributed one goal. Erin Williams recorded her fifth shutout of the season as the Cats roll to a 5-0 record. Today's lunch menu is whole grain ziti with meat sauce, wheat garlic bread, Caesar salad, fresh apple, and a fantastic milk selection. Today's birthdays are Alexander Havens and Catherine Light. This is Yoda. Have a great day, High Point.